Now, chaos broke out in Kisi town uh, this morning ahead of Deputy President William Ruto's tour of the region. Joining me live is our reporter Simon Archola with the latest development on ground. Good afternoon, Simon. Well, thank you uh, very much, uh, Regina. Indeed, um, it is um, uh, this one, the, the scenes in the morning here in uh, Kisi town. A number of uh, youths are actually raising concern with the visit of uh, Deputy President William Ruto. Of course, a uh, key uh, agitation being the fact that most of them had not been consulted and um, uh, they felt that they are actually being left out of um, what uh, Deputy President William Ruto will be doing today in uh, Nyanchua, which is not far away from where we are standing. But um, fast forward, uh, about uh, 30 or 40 minutes ago, Deputy President William Ruto has just landed here in uh, Kisi town. And uh, the situation is totally uh, the exact opposite of what was happening in the morning. He has been received uh, uh, with jubilation from uh, uh, most of the locals who are actually uh, here. Or, of course, most of them being caught uh, by surprise. He has done uh, uh, several rounds uh, in town just to reaffirm uh, the fact that he has uh, uh, support from uh, this uh, region. Of course, that is also back from um, the leaders who would actually organize this uh, particular uh, uh, function at uh, Nyanchuan. And, uh, of course, I uh, reassured uh, the locals that uh, he is part and parcel uh, of uh, them. He will continue to actually come in, uh, in uh, this region to ask uh, for votes and, of course, um, initiate uh, the government agenda, the government develop development um, uh, agenda. And, um, of course, uh, thereafter, he is just uh, left uh, the CBD and uh, is headed to Nyanchua, which is not far away from where we are. We understand that uh, he will be holding a fundraiser for the Rabada Riders or youth in uh, Kisi town and then there of, uh, of course um, then thereafter head uh, to Nyamarambe which is in South uh, Mugirango uh, again to actually hold another fundraiser uh, in uh, that uh, particular constituency. Of course that is um, the itinerary of um, the Deputy President in uh, this um, uh, region the in Kisi land and of course we'll be key keeping a keen eye on uh, exactly what will be happening to see indeed um, if uh, what happened in the morning it was, was, was just um, a one-off event or uh, uh, this will continue but uh, what I can report uh, what I can actually confidently report now is that the situation has actually calmed and uh, when the deputy president actually came and uh, was doing rounds in town, he was actually received uh, well and uh, it is a situation of course we'll be keeping uh, a keen eye and uh, most leaders that we've actually spoke to uh, castigating the morning incident and uh, calling for sobriety and uh, tolerance especially as uh, the country heads uh, into 2022 electioneering uh, period. Back to you Regina. For that update, indeed, it's a it's it's a count situation down in Kisi County, and uh, he will be keeping tabs on any developments as Deputy President William Ruto there continues with his tour of the region.